guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Ava Lady, and we here are now at part two of the dun -dun -dun. belief, the true serum resurfacing PHA AHA 10% serum. <laughs> this video guys you are going to be experiencing my first impressions of this particular serum we're going to open it because it is still in the box and uh, we're going to do a sniff test and a texture test I guess and just uh, actually the application of it plus I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks to test this product out to hopefully help eradicate these all right, so here it is. This is the box of it. It's very similar to the one that we got for the moisturizing balm, the True Serum Revitalizing Niacinamide Amino Acid Te Solution 10%. The box looks exactly the same, except for that this is blue instead of pink, which both will look very nice on my vanity back there once I'm done with it all. Um, I've already gone through the key ingredients and the features and who this product is for in my previous video, which will be linked up here for you. And so let's just get right to it. I love the packaging from belief because it is very it is very simple it's it's simple but yet it has like this class to it i am using this because i'm hoping that it is going to help me not only give me another boost of hydration for my skin but also help to get rid of some of the acne marks that i've been experiencing like my acne itself has been kind of calming down a little bit could be a hormonal thing but i do have a doctor's appointment just to kind of make sure everything's okay because i don't know i'm getting to the point my age where my hormones are starting to fluctuate a little bit more for non-pregnancy reasons and I just want to get down to why that is so now here we go okay oh interesting oh it's clear it's see-through so it's interesting because this one has such a milky texture but I kind of almost thought it was the bottle but it's not so the actual bottle itself is see-through because you can actually see the drop here oh that's pretty spiffy so this one here it is the dropper which I really enjoy it's supposed to have like a gel like texture is it thicker? Okay, well, we're going to try it out. So before with the other one, it did say for me to use just two to three drops. I end up using about four drops for my face and neck. Oh, it's cool. It is very cool. Interesting. Okay, so there's no color to it whatsoever. It's not that jelly. It's actually a little bit more liquidy than I thought it was going to be. Because when they said like it was going to be like a gel texture, I actually thought gel texture. It's kind of like a, in between a gel and a liquid. It's a lel. All right, so I have it on my hand right now. It actually feels kind of cool, which is interesting. Oh, oh, mmm, I like the scent of it. It doesn't smell perfumey. It has that really nice kind of like um, almost branded scent of the Belief product. It's like fresh citrusy scent to it, which is always really pleasant really nice it just kind of wakes you up and it kind of dries really quickly because already I can feel like it's drying I didn't even really massage it into my skin very much so oh okay I really like the scent of this so in comparison to this one here which is the niacinamide one uh, which again I love this one I've been using it for a good month now and it is a fantastic product but it is a little bit milkier just by comparison but like the and it actually almost feels like this one is a little bit thicker I just want to say, but yeah, I mean, both of these serums are great. You can't layer these serums together because this one does have the AHA and the PHA in it. So you can use it like one day and one night. So like, let's say this one as your night one and this one as your day one, but you can't mix them together and layer them in like, let's say a 10 step KBD program that if you're trying to create one. It actually kind of gives a bit of a sheen to it and I feel like it is moisturizing already because it feels like I didn't put any moisturizer on my hand yet and it feels nice and soft. <laughs> Alright, so let's get, up, get on right to it and put this on my face, my friends. I'm going to show you what my face looks like currently right now. I'm a little bit sweaty. But you see, I have one more pimple that's kind of on its way to say goodbye right now. Um, the one on my forehead is almost gone as well. But it's all these marks here that's kind of driving me nuts right now. So I'm hoping that it's going to help get rid of this a little bit. As well as it's supposed to help with fine lines. So 
more of this. Uh, now, I haven't gone back to using my Bakuchio serum right now because I have been testing out this particular product. I might go back into that, but not until after I do another two to three week period of using this particular serum. Here it is. You can see that I still have some marks. Of, like, okay, it is the marks on my face. So it's supposed to gently help exfoliate and kind of give you a better tone and texture on your skin in regard and also in addition to some of the fine lines so i do have some lines on my forehead that are starting to form now but i'm almost 40 so it's okay <gasps> did i just tell you my age i did that's okay uh yeah so let's just get to it so to use this here they said two to three drops i'm gonna place it on my hand let's do three drops first maybe i have a big face Whoop. Sure, one, two, three. We'll say that's about three drops. One dropper full. Yeah, why not? Okay, so I'm going to put it on and I'm going to dab it first. Okay. I love the scent of this. So they're suggesting to use this um, once a day when you first start off so that your skin can get used to the ingredients before using it twice a day. So right now what I'm going to do is, because I'm applying this now, tonight when I do my nighttime skincare routine, I am going to go back to using the other serum because I love serums. So I am going to go back to using the other serum. Now, but, okay, when putting on on, it feels a little sticky, actually. It doesn't smoothly glide on like the other one does or some of the other serum. It's really interesting how it has a slightly sticky texture interesting i wonder why well it's probably just the product maybe the marshmallow <laughs> i doubt it on first impact i felt a very very slight tingle like the slightest tingle ever but now it's gone like it's just like right when i first put it on it was, like, it was just like hello good morning here i am but now it's gone so i have it on hopefully it's going to help significantly reduce these marks here as well as you know any freckles and things that i might be getting but yeah so what i'll do guys um i want to use it for approximately three weeks to see how it works out for this but first impression wise it's fine it's just it's it's a little bit weird with the stickiness of the texture like it's still sticky now and then what i'm supposed to do is afterwards i i'm supposed to um do my regular skincare routine. All right, guys, so I just finished putting on all of my face cream. I used uh, my moisturizing eye balm as well as the Belief Aqua Balm Aloe here, and this is the first time I've ever used this product, so it was actually a really interesting experience of trying out two different products at the same time. I don't know if that's the smartest thing for me to do, but you know what? I was out of face gel, so I needed face gel. <laughs> Anywho, um, it felt sticky up until I was just about to put on my face cream. So the stickiness is definitely something I have to get used to. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> and But once I put on my moisturizer, it seems like it really helped. What I do think, though, what I might end up doing... I don't know, I have to really think about this, whether or not I should do it both day and night for the two to three weeks, and then I'll transfer to just doing it at night, because I do want to see what kind of effect it has on this. So I probably will end up doing that. But for regular use, I would probably just end up using this one at night, because again, I really love this particular serum. It just really helped with my nose area. Also, because it is a product that can kind of make you more likely to sunburn, use some sunscreen so that that you don't burn your face uh, and then also avoid using any other type of vitamin c or retinol type products on top of it use it separately i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what type of serum that you're using right now and when you're buying a serum what kind of serum are you looking for like what are what are the treatments that you want to get out of your serum or the benefits that you want to get out of your serum if you want to get your hands on one of these beauties here or any of their avon products make sure you do go to the link down in the description box below and while you're there check out that join avon button to see whether or not running an online avon business is right for you if you have questions reach out to me i am here to help guys plus if you're new to this channel make sure Sure you do go and click that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so we can come and hang out together again. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!